Douglas and I became accidental owners of Fox Brothers. I invested in, well we invested in it, um, and then found, um, found one day that um, <laughs> I just woke up one morning owning it. What we do in this country, I think we do very well. Great innovators, we are great designers, and we are very, we've got some really skilled craftsmen that you cannot just, you can't just grow. You know, and we know that because one of our issues at Fox Brothers is making sure we've actually got succession. We've actually got, when you look at our workforce, we've actually got people who can step into those shoes. I feel like sometimes, you know, they're, they're the last men standing. The guy who, who tans the leather on those bags, the mm -hmm. last oak tanner left in the UK, and you just think, you know, he goes, he's the last, that's it. And it's, it's very nice to, find, to be able to commercially use them, because there's no point preserving them in aspic and turn them into museum pieces, you know, it's just, it's lovely to be able to produce something that people actually want to buy. I'm a little sentimental about my animals. We've got bronzes of our dogs, um, and I was feeling very guilty because I didn't have a bronze of the cat. I've got horses, dogs, chickens, pigs, and I, actually I have several desks, you know, I have several offices, I've got several businesses, um, but what they all have in common is they all have, they have husband, I'd say husband first, obviously. Husband, horses, cats, sisters. <laughs> Things that I hold dear.